All right, friends, when installing your packs, I'm going to show you the easy way to do it. And it's the most efficient way that alternates your supply and return line to give your slab the most even temperature throughout. And it will provide the path to come right back to where you start. So what you see right here is all that's needed to create a roof over my root cellar. I have my build deck ICFs. I have my 12 inch by 12 inch number four rebar, half inch rebar grid. And I have my S shaped stirrups holding the heavy duty rebar down in the I-beam channel. And I have them favoring the four feet from each end, four feet from each end. And notice right down the middle, no stirrups down the middle. So that's it. Up to this point, we're ready to pour a concrete cap on it. But I'm going to stop and I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to put PEX in the floor of the greenhouse, which is the roof of the root cellar. And that PEX is going to work with the PEX that's in the floor of the root cellar, bringing that 50 degree temperature up into the floor of the greenhouse to be used as a heater in the winter time. So let's get started with that. Here I am laying in place concrete remesh wire reinforcement. Each piece is five foot by 10 foot in size and has a six inch by six inch grid. The typical spacing for PEX is eight inches for living space floors. Garages and shops may have spacings of up to two feet. In my project, I want a tight 6-inch spacing on my passive GeoPEX system that will work with the PEX 8 feet below in the earth of the root cellar floor. PEX heated water circuit lengths are typically limited to 300 feet. My project this is 340 feet. All right, friends, when installing your packs, I'm going to show you the easy way to do it. And it's the most efficient way that alternates your supply and return line to give your slab the most even temperature throughout. And it will provide the path to come right back to where you start. It's not a big secret. All you have to do is skip one rung. I'm placing mine at six inches spacing. So now on my second path, I go at 12 inch. And this is going to provide the path coming back right on this empty rung right here, all the way around. So it makes it real easy. You don't have to think about it. Just skip that one rung all the way till you get to the center. And once you get to the center, flip come right back around and you'll come right back to where you need to be. By running a low cost 100 watt circulation pump, this pump will circulate the water through the PEX into the 45 to 50 degree natural earth temperature soil. This water from the floor of the root cellar will circulate up into the floor of the greenhouse. With a calculated 10 degree transfer rate of water temperature, the target temperature should remain at 35 degrees and above. Take note on what you see me do here shortly. When reaching the center and ready to flip directions to begin the return, the PEX has a tendency to memory coil. To avoid stressing the PEX at the point you change directions, you will need to flip the spool of PEX to maintain that relaxed placement to avoid kinking and stressing the PEX. Full disclosure, calculations show positive projections for outside temperatures ranging down to 20 degrees. Temperatures in the teens and below, heat would be backed by the use of the outdoor wood boiler. I am using half inch oxygen barrier PEX type B. Oxygen barrier PEX is typically used in closed loop pressure systems. All right, 
friends, you can see, coming back on that empty space we allowed for, puts us right back at the beginning and didn't even have to think about it and uh, makes for an easy job. There you have it. There's how you lay pecs in a concrete floor. So all that's left for me to run around and cut up all these ties. All right, friends, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Once again, this is Steve from Pure Michigan Living. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.